What's up guys? So before I start this video, I just wanted to tell you guys this, I guess, but um, the, on my last video, which was about this, and this video is about this continued, the Black Matte Zippo continued, it's probably what it's going to be called, but anyway, I was like two seconds close to having my video like cut off because I didn't, don't have enough memory, so this video can't be over like 13 minutes long, or 12 or, or something, but anyway guys, so I was... I was just making this video, the, and by the way, I am looking at a list, so if I kind of, you know, stop talking for a minute, it's because I have a list about things I have to talk about, because I always forget what I'm going to talk about sometimes. So, anyway, um, actually, I also, I didn't write this down on the list, but um, I have been doing a lot of Zippo videos lately, and I kind of, eh, might take a break from them. Probably not over the summer because I'm going to be getting a lot of Zippos probably over the summer. Maybe not. I might not get any. Who knows? But I kind of want to do... I really want to do a video on this. But I um, don't have a flare gun. So I can't do a video on that. But anyway, what I was going to say is is um, this video is just about things I did not touch upon um, in the last video. Including, including like the ping, filling it, because um, I actually could not tell about how full this this was. That's why I said it was like dangerously low, but I figured out how I can. Because by the feel, it feels with that low, but it's really not. So I actually can fill this. I'm good. But I still am very low. So the first thing I was going to mention is the ping. So the ping on the Zippo is amazing. It's like this is the best Zippo that I have that pings really, it pings really well. So, I don't know if you heard that, but um, I don't know if this muffles the sound or enhances it, who knows what, it's an iPhone 5, so I really don't know, but um, this room isn't the biggest room in the world, but it's definitely not the smallest, so it does echo, like, through the whole room, it makes it sound really loud. Like that, so if you hold your thumb on there, it really doesn't do the echoing, but if you don't, I don't know if you can hear that, it might muffle it, I really don't know, but anyway, next is actually the Zippo filling, and wait, no, before that, sorry guys, I'm still disorganized, um, I wanted to compare to my armor Zippo, which is still filled by the way, um, so this is this thing, oh, Jesus. So this is this ping. It kind of makes a tiny little pink kind of noise. And the reason this is because it's thicker than this. So this one pings a lot better. So anyway, next thing that um, we're going to be talking about on the list is filling this. Like I said, um, I won't be able to show you guys this, but... Um, how much is in here because my flashlight, my LED flashlight, which I might do a video on at some point, is dead on batteries. It's like completely dead. It's just, it went, you know, dead, <laughs> basically. So, um, anyway, anyway, I think I left it on a little bit. And a quick tip, if you have a LED flashlight especially, don't leave it like only slightly turned off. If you leave it slightly like just a little bit turned off, it's still on and it will still use up your batteries and such. So anyway, actually, um, before we fill this, I was going to go over how I gut my Zippos and stuff. Um, so get the flint out of there. What I use is this. Please tell me I have it. Yes, I do. My Swiss Army knife. This thing is about the best thing I have for gutting Zippos. I must say that. Uh, I might have said that in another video because of little pliers. I can use them to get the rayon out. This helps push the rayon back in, the toothpick, and everything. And this actually is something I wanted to show you is how I can just find out how I can check my level. I can use the flat blade screwdriver and take a dish and pry up like that. And that just fell and that comes off. So anyway, I'm going to put that back on. Hold on. Wait a minute. So yeah, that's how I do that. But anyway, there we go. So, anyway, on to filling it. I know I'm kind of everywhere with this video. 
I thought I would be more organized in this video, but apparently not. Anyway, I already did gut this Zippo. That's why the insert is, I mean, the felt pad is so high up. Usually on these kind of Zippos, they're sunken in a lot. So, anyways, what, what am I doing? I need this. Jeez, sorry guys. So, um, here we go. Get this. Pop this off. There we go. I actually have gotten better with pulling that off. The first time I've tried pulling it off with pulling this, you know, open, opening this with a um, Zippo, it took me like 10 times to <laughs> do. But um, the reason why I'm filling this, like I said, is because I found out I have to about dare. So, anyway, why is it every time I do a Zippo video, my phone interrupts me saying, your phone is only 20%. It's annoying. But anyway, it's about to hear. And probably when I told you guys it was to hear, it was probably really to hear. So, I have poor judgment on that. So, one, wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I spilled some. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. That's filled enough, I guess. I mean, it's not... New Zippos sometimes take a little bit more to fill than, you know, five times. Like, three rows of five, like I just did. Sometimes. Not all the time. But anyway, it would help. I'm gonna like this to put this back on. You would think, at least. Anyway. Does that work? Yeah. So, anyway... And I still don't know if I'm going to be taking this on the trip or not. I really don't know whether I will be or not. Still, I haven't decided. I hadn't even called the airport people. But anyway, there it is. That is a really tall flame. Jeez. Also, another thing I quick wanted to say is um, the reason why my Zippo's fuel lasts longer, which I can't believe I like forgot about this, is because I trimmed the wicks down. Like I tried to pull the wick down out of this, but I either pull them down or trim them to about half of the chimney height. Which makes the flame about this high, which is all I really need. So, but if I like this, it goes like, yeah, twice as high as I need. And ow, I burnt my finger. So anyway. There we go. This Zippo is really nice. I like the finish. It's really smooth. So anyway, um, I also, so the last thing I want to talk about is how tight this insert is. This was made in G of... 2014 and it's doing the same thing it did um yesterday it's not really showing the focusing in on the insert up oh, there we go i mean on the stamp bottom stamp but this insert is like like really tight it's like if i can show you on my brass armor it's loose but i did do the trick that pizzcn said take a coin and i mean this one's tighter too because like i said i fixed it up and everything with that amazing tip which actually was very useful and so anyway please tell me my dad's not calling no it's downstairs it's probably him but this insert even though i took the coin to it like it's really easy to pull out and that is my dad i hear the voicemail thing saying call from dave mason but anyway so you pull this out like just gently like i don't know if you can see i did take the coin it's kind of curved but I did take the coin and do that, and it's still loose. So this is just a ridiculously loose insert, and the cam is becoming to get loose. So this might be the first Zippo I have to go into repairs, which I hope... kind of sounds weird. I don't really hope that I have to send one in at some point. Like, it'd be good if I didn't have to, because that means I'm obviously taking good care of my Zippos. But I like what they give you in there. They give you, like, a catalog and a pocket guide dating code and extra flints and extra inserts so anyway yeah this zippo is a little bit different than usually from this oh geez from this time period they're supposed to be really loose but apparently they're not and geez it's a tall flame but anyway i will be probably trimming this wick sometime soon and like i said i am dying because i can't get a big can i want a big can so badly with that stuff. So anyway, also this thing is be beginning to tarnish really fast. So I don't know why, but anyway, that will do it. Light. What is up with this thing? That 
there you go. Oh well, it's a little bit of a weird Zippo, but I don't know. Oh, also, it has an overhang on there. I don't even know if you can see the lid kind of overlaps, which is actually good. Ooh, focus. Focus. Is it going to focus? No. But you might be able to kind of see it a little bit. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I can, looking through the camera. But anyway, so that'll do it, guys. See you later. Actually, probably I won't be posting another video till, um I'm in Hawaii. So see you guys later.